So you think just because the TV spots for WandaVision are not showing us giant explosions and things going crazy that we're not getting that? Oh no no. They want to reassure us we will be. As the director of WandaVision says, that some of the biggest set pieces that they've ever shot for Marvel Studios are in fact in WandaVision. So I distinctly remember before Mandalorian Season 1 seeing a bunch of what you could call hit pieces against the series because all anybody saw was like a couple of shots of Mando before he even got the best car armor. You guys all know the photos and that was really it. And most people were saying this is probably only going to be set on one planet. There's not a whole lot going on. It's going to be a slow show, a western set in this town and he's just going to be in this one location and it's kind of going to be slow because they can't afford it, budget, yada yada yada. And then you get to the end of like the third episode, you're like, okay I was wrong. And then every episode just keeps upping it. Season 2 just gets bigger and bigger and bigger with every episode to the point where people are like how is this not actually a movie how do they afford this wandavision the marvel studio shows they're gonna be the same thing guys just because all the trailers are not showing you the giant over the top biggest set piece ever doesn't mean it's not in here so recently multiple people from wandavision's creative department including the director and the visual artist but specifically here let's talk about the director matt shankman who spoke to total film he said this isn't just them spending six months shooting people walking down hallways like your law and order or anything like that. And then he said, and I quote, Kevin Feige was really clear from the beginning that this show would be very different, but it would also be as Marvel as anything else they've ever made, including some of the biggest set pieces they've ever ever done. Now let's take this back to when they first announced that WandaVision was happening and the team started to assemble. They literally said that this show starts off in a different way and it would gradually get very different towards the end of it. At the time we were all confused as to what the hell they were saying and then we figured out oh it's gonna do the comedy thing starting in the 50s and going decade by decade. But during that same time they literally said by the time the show gets to its final episodes, it's going to be one of the biggest effects driven things that they've ever done and will be the size, scope and scale of a typical Marvel Studios film. That's what he's saying here. Just because we haven't seen it again, guys, doesn't mean it doesn't exist. Go back and look at the original trailers for Mando. Again, do that for the first season. Watch the first ever trailer. It's clips from like three episodes cut up just to show you well, pretty much nothing because they want to hide everything. It's about the mystery. We're going to actual places with these shows where unlike some of these films, we don't know everything. And that's exciting. And I can't wait to see how crazy this show is going to get and how big it gets and how insane and Marvel Studios film scope size it gets by the end of the first season.